Hey everyone, we got here my Lenovo T440 key. Um, I usually use this laptop for video editing, photo editing, um, running virtual machines and stuff. And um, it has a conventional 2.5 inch SSD, 512 gigs. Cool. Um, and uh, this this model usually comes with a 3G modem, but I didn't get the, the one with the 3G modem. And uh, I found out that uh, if you don't get the one with the modem, uh, you get a free <laughs> free M.2 SATA slot. Okay, and since we had a, I have a free M.2 SATA slot, I thought of getting an M.2 SSD also 512 gigs and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna install it okay and for those of you who uh, have uh, the same or similar laptop you might want to do the same okay so for the T440 P it's pretty easy okay. all you need is um, a screwdriver I have in my multi-tool here, which uh, I just set up, I think I need uh, this one, okay. so what you need to do is you just need to take off the screws and then um, it, you just move this panel forward, okay. um, ideally take the battery off first. so that um, that's off then take these two screws out Then, what you need to do is just to gently move this, see, and you now have access to the innards of your laptop. So, just zoom in a bit, uh, this is the uh, existing SSD. Uh, 2.5 inch slot and here and uh, let me move the camera a bit this is actually the M.2 slot okay. and um, if you had the Lenovo with the modem the modem would be in there those uh, wires would be connected to it but since I didn't get the one with the modem I have a free slot so first thing I did was to take the wires um, and um, tape them together and I'm gonna place them here just put them away so that they don't bother anyone <laughs> okay um, since they're insulated they should be okay uh, so the, the, object the objective is just to get them away humid here in the in the in the where I am in Asia so um, might be different where you guys are you might want to have some anti-static <laughs> gloves or something so this is the SSD and just place it 
in here So that's it goes in there, but you can see um, there is a screw. So I need to take the screw out first. cover back on and then we'll set it up so now that I got the SSD installed uh, I'm gonna check if the BIOS can detect it uh, and also if Windows can detect it um, so first the BIOS um, I'm gonna reboot first and I'm gonna try to enter the boot menu by pressing F12 during startup so when you see the Lenovo sign try to match F12 the Samsung is my primary hard drive and this other one is my um, M.2 hard drive or SSD um, so successful okay so now I'm in Windows um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check uh, device manager okay, and under disk drives and as you can see drives we have the other SSD so you might be wondering um, if it's gonna appear in the um, PC folder or the PC menu uh, it's not in here because it's not yet formatted there's no file system in there so in order to do that you need to go to disk management which is here and here in disk management I'm just gonna ignore that you can see disk 1 sorry not disk 1, disk 0 which is basically what I'm using now for Windows and this is the other one this is the SSD that we just installed in the M.2 SATA you just need to uh, format that so you can put a file system in it and then Windows will detect it. Okay? But I'm not gonna do now because I'm, I'm gonna install Linux on it. Hope this helps. 